hello guys welcome to my next youtube tutorial so today in this tutorial we are going to write a c program to add two numbers to create a dynamic array of integers using pointers so guys basically dynamic memory allocation refers to managing the system memory at runtime dynamic memory management in c programming language is performed via a group of four functions named malloc calloc realloc and free our dynamic memory allocation uses heap space of the system memory. So let's start with opening our Turbo C++ application. As you can see here, this Turbo C++ application, which is used to write C and C++ programs. And if you don't have this Turbo C++ application, the link of this application is given in the description of our first video. So start Turbo C++. So this is how it will look alike. Now go to file open a new project and name it dynamic array gtf dot c the extension of a file should be dot c as we are writing a c program as soon as you press enter this blue screen will appear where you can write your code and execute it so let's start with including the header files hash include stdio.h Hash include conio.h hash include stdlib.h the standard library header file includes all the dynamic memory allocation functions which we are going to use in our program now we'll start with our main program that is void main we are giving the data type of our main program as void because it is not returning any kind of value now we'll start with declaring our pointer variable and syntax for that is data type and star your pointer variable name that is ppr we are taking it is user defined. Now we'll declare two more variables of same data type as a pointer variable that is int. So the two variables are sum and we are initializing sum is equal to zero the initial value of sum is zero and i for a looping statement. Now we'll use one built-in function called clrscr which is used to clear the screen each and every time when you exit from it. Now we'll uh, allocate the memory dynamically. So syntax for that is pointer variable name that is ptr is equal to in bracket data type star. So data type is int and star close the bracket. Now what memory dynamic memory allocation function you are using. So here we are using malloc and in bracket we'll write size of so size of is one word size of in bracket we'll write the data type that is int close the brackets and terminate it now we'll use for loop for get in, uh, taking the input from the user for i is equal to zero i is less than two and i plus plus so the for loop is a control flow statement for specifying iterations which allows your code to be executed repeatedly so here i want my particular small code to be executed for two times so we are using a for loop so the initial value of i is zero so it will repeat the loop unless and until the condition becomes false that is i is equal to 2 and i plus plus is used to increment the value of i each and every time so we'll open the brackets for a for loop here we'll use one built-in function which is included in the stdio.h header file that is printf which is used to print the formatted data onto the output screen here we'll ask the user to enter the number so enter the value so this will be given by the user so here we are using one safe sequence called slash in which is used to move the cursor to the next line and close the bracket and terminate it now we are using one more built-in function to read the value of the number which is given by the user so scan f for integer data type we use percentage d here we will not use ampersand as 
we are taking a pointer variable here that is ptr and pointer variable holds the address of another variable so no need to use ampersand so now we'll write sum is equal to sum plus in bracket star ptr and close the bracket and terminate it as you can see here we are using star ptr because star is used to access the value stored inside your pointer variable so the initial value of sum now is 0 so sum is equal to sum plus star ptr so let's consider the first number which is entered by the user is 10 so sum is 0 plus star ptr means 10 so 0 plus 10 is 10 so value of this sum is 10 now this for loop has ended now again we go to the for loop now the value of i becomes 1 and i is less than 2 means 1 is less than 2 so this uh, statement is true so it will again enter the for loop now again it will ask to enter the value now we'll enter the second number so let's consider the second number as 2 now sum the value of sum is 10 so sum is 10 plus star ptr means 2 so 10 plus 2 is 12 the value of this sum will be 12 so the, the final value will be stored in sum now we'll print the same the sum of two numbers is now one value will come here so we'll use percentage d and again we'll use one save sequence called slash n which is used to move the cursor to the next line and we'll read the value of sum using that variable name here we are not using star because it is not a pointer variable and neither we are using ampersand because we don't want the address of that value so now here comes the last line of the program that is get ch uh, it is used to get the formatted output onto the screen and it is included in stdio.h header file now here we'll close our main program so this is your full program for the dynamic array of integers now you can save it for future purpose save it for compilation go to compile and one shortcut key is also there that is alt f9 so compile your program so if any errors are there it will come according to that you can solve it and if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section and if there are no errors it will come success press any key so press enter now go to run press run button and one more shortcut key is there for run that is control f9 you can press that also so run your program so this is how your output screen will look alike now enter the first value that is we are taking 10 now enter the second value for addition we are taking 20 so as soon as i press enter it will give the value of two numbers as 30 see the sum of two numbers is 30 so to come out to come out of this output screen press enter and to come out of this turbo c++ application one shortcut key is there alt enter so this will take you out of your turbo c++ application now from here you can cut it you can delete it so this was all about your dynamic array of integers so thank you guys for watching it and please don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our video for further updates